Um, so I'm Riley. I was runner-up school-based apprentice trainee for 2018. I did my certificate three um, in business administration in six months and then I went on to complete a certificate four in work health and safety in another six months all while working full-time and finishing grade 12. Um, and this is Jack. I'm Jack. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I was doing my business uh, set three business whilst doing year 12. Uh, currently still completing my set three. Uh, and I was in the same category as Riley, which was the uh, school best apprentice of the year. Uh, I got finalists and Riley was the runner up. Uh, Talila was the winner and yeah. she looked like she had an awesome time when she went down to nationals. So, uh, shame she couldn't be here today, but she's obviously really busy. Um, the Ambassadors Weekend. So it started on a Friday night uh, at a small reception where we all first met. Um, and we went to Government House mm -hmm. and, and we did a bit of networking and photography. Um, so on that <laughs> night, look your best um, because you're going to get really nice, yep. nice-ish photographs <laughs> if you look really good. Um, and then it's a bit of dinner and you go home, come back the next day. So uh, Saturday morning, for, uh, I'm not going to tell you times because it might change this year. <laughs> But uh, we had a full day of just um, personal development and being able to develop ourselves and our skills and discover skills that we didn't know that we had. Uh, we had people like Amy Heverington help us discover that and they, uh, all those sort of sessions helped us in the final interview, which was the Sunday, um, which is a full day of interviews. Um, yeah, I don't have much else to add on top. Yeah, and you get prepped for your interview quite a bit as well and you just get to know all of the other um, individual finalists. Um, I think the biggest takeaway from it is that everybody walks away with really, really good friendships. To put it into perspective, when Jack and I, we didn't know each other prior to the training awards and then we met and now he has dinner at my house once a week with me and my family. So I think that's just a prime example of what can come out of it, not only of the professional aspect that yes, it does look better on your resume and it does put you out there, but you're also gaining friends and um, meeting people that are like-minded and are doing the same things that you're doing and have the potential to grow and to be the best that they can be. Yeah, um, off that, no, of course I was gonna say, um, with that friendship and all the networking you do, keep those contacts, you just never know when they might come back. Um, they're awesome <laughs> to have, Chantel and Jade are also awesome to have, they're going to be part of the networking and if you have any questions, obviously ask them. They're going to be there throughout the whole week, uh, week. so any, any schools that are looking at uh, trainees or apprentices that are going to go in, the best people to ask. Everyone's going to be stressed, everyone's, assume that everyone's going to be stressing with you, yep. so don't stress too much about it. Yep. We'll, you'll hear a lot that don't stress a lot. It's going to happen, but once you sit down and relax and talk to people, you will realise that everyone is just as stressed as you. Don't be stressed. <laughs> that's, that's probably the most thing I could yeah. say, is don't be stressed. Yeah, another big tip would be just to put yourself out there and don't be afraid to actually share your story. Um, and if you're an individual particularly, don't feel like you don't deserve it or that you're just talking yourself up because it's not the case and believe that you're interesting believe yeah, that your definitely. story that your unique and individual stories are interesting because someone will ask you over that weekend what is your story don't be shy they've asked because they want to know what your story is so tell them in full detail don't be shy think you're interesting go for it <laughs>